you have copywriter and you also have something that people call copy editor yeah copy editor that's a big difference in the description i will put the link to an article to show you the different the thing is online you'll find a lot of information where people say hey as an editor i earn a lot of money you can do this 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 don't believe those say yeah yes you can earn a lot of money but you need to have experience you need to have something that you can show people hey i already have experience I already did this why is that because the things that you rewrite the things that you write those things can make sure that the company get money and they can pay you that's something you need to keep in mind but if you cannot make sure that that they get money they cannot pay you because you don't bring any value to the company so that's something you need to keep in mind yes copywriter copy or editor call it whatever you want yes that's a big difference you make a lot of money but you need to make sure that you have some experience and that's a big difference between those two copywriters see it as you're creating something new you do not know if it's going to work or not editor is there is something already there you are editing you are um, correcting the spelling mistake grammar mistake call it whatever you want and eh? and the goal is to make it smooth and also make make it sure that it meets the company brand gu guideline that's technically how you need to see it so that's a big difference if you do the second one that means you're working for a big corporation and they know the value you already have a contract with them and they're going to pay you as a beginner you're not going to get there yeah you're not going to get there i already told you that you're not going to get there at the beginning but if you work for it if you create an portfolio if you have experience and you can show them you're going to get there but if you don't have anything don't think about it yet yes you can start and get a big project if you get it nice the problem is it's going to be difficult for you because you don't have experience yeah so start with things that you can do and when you start with things that you can do it's going to help you get forward that's technically how you see it that's technically how i see it in my opinion so you ask yourself okay how can i start uh what are my options thing is look at websites look at ads if you see ads and you think you can do it better contact the company say hey listen um i can rewrite this for you hey um what would you pay me for it or i can rewrite um things for you i see a spelling mistakes there maybe i can help you uh, talk with them those are people talk with them and you can convince them it's not that difficult when you talk with someone and you be yourself it's good but if you offer someone services that they don't need they're not going to buy it let me give you an example if you need food you're going to buy food because you need it you need to survive but if someone is selling a car and you don't need it you're not going to buy so the need is important yeah so what you need can do is figure out what kind of problem they have and see if you can help them or not that's technically how i see it if you have question about it go on discord and ask me directly if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe right now i hope you like this video i will see you in the next one